I believe that there's one major part that most of us parents get wrong throughout every day. And before you let your mind tell you that you are not one of them, I would like to pause you and to really inquire and go beyond the image that you have of the parent that you are and that you want to be and go a little deeper beyond there to the state of what actually is. What I can see is that many of us carry the belief that a child needs forming and that we need to teach them and in a way underlining that the child comes imperfect into this world and that we are responsible to make them into us like to shape them into something and the reality that i see is that the child comes into this world perfectly knowing everything that they need to know having their heart directly in this open space in connection and in unity with the universe with god with nature and it is the game of life the roles that they take on the beliefs that they take on about who they are what they're supposed to do or to be that actually bring them away from this in tune state and I can see that even though I believe that many parents are very conscious of this um, circumstance <laughs> circumstances still we all have been programmed as children we all have our beliefs and carry our yeah our programming with us from our own childhood and from our life in general from this game that and this roles that we have played in this in this game of life and if we are not constantly conscious and in this very moment then whenever we are not means that we are actually living from these beliefs and from these memories and from these constructs that have been either given to us or ultimately that we accepted in us and that is where we make mistakes as parents as far as I can see because a child is constantly in this being state a child is constantly connected the whole time when they are small they don't even have yeah they don't have anything taking them away from there except from the environment around them and that's mainly us parents so when we are not in our center and when we are not in our co present moment and in this consciousness then we are taking them away and we are teaching them life is being away from where you are <laughs> and we program them to believe that that is life and what they are doing is whatever you want to call maybe you call it play or yeah or whatever it is that you want to call it um, and the children will grow up not knowing that they have already had the answer that they are living this answer that they are the answer and ultimately we have to accept the truth that our children are the future and our children are the future to this world and we don't have the answers and as much as we want to believe that we have own or acquire knowledge and that we are able to solve things then the answer lays right in front of us in our children they are there the future 
and they already know how to be in line. They already know how to be in tune. And they only need space to be and space to express exactly this beingness and what comes through in their beingness. And the, what they come up with is amazing. I mean, they, they want to care, they want to help. And we are the ones who are taking them away from there because we are bringing them into the game of life into roles, into belief systems and take them away from this presence with God. And the truth is that we need to look at ourselves first and we need to be conscious of where we are and who we are because we will see that whenever we live in a program we are already in the future or we are still in the past so our we will be able to watch our thoughts believing that something certain has to happen now or something certain um, has m whatever made this situation the way it is whilst we are dwelling in the past and in truth there's only this very present moment and this is the only place where creation is happening and coming forth. So our children are there, we need to meet them. They don't have to come to us. If they have to come to us, then sadly that often means that they have to leave this in tuneness with God and the universe and when we instead come to them and accept that our children are our teachers and that they know how to really be in line then we can mirror them we can accept that we have to learn to let go and we have to learn to release these beliefs that we carry from our own childhood from our own upbringing from the society that and the community that we were born into and that the truth is that there's only right now and that the past doesn't matter and that the future doesn't matter it doesn't matter what happens in the next two hours or 20 years it doesn't matter what ha happened in the last two hours or in the last 20 years it only matters that right now this very moment is this moment where we can create, where we can listen and be guided and where we can really experience life. Where we are in oneness together with our children and have this gift that we are allowed to express life in this form that God decided to split in all these wonderful pieces <laughs> and is now experiencing itself that we can touch each other and be together and that is all that needs to be and if there is something that needs to be expressed in this world if there's something that needs to be created in this world then it will happen from this very space where we are in line and in tune and where God can access us and guide us. And I can see it with our children. I can see when, I, when we give them space, then they are creative and they are going to create. They have ideas, they want to build things, they want to express what is inside them, what they feel and what they're, yeah, they, ha they are fresh and they are empty and therefore they can be filled with ideas that needs, need to exist in this world. However much our mind as a parent or as adults often wants to um, label it as something like play or not important or whatever that is, 
this is the roots of the future and if a child can keep that ability to be in line with the universe and with God and to listen to their yeah to their intuition and to their guidance inside themselves then they're able to really create change into this world as they grow up but if we take them away and we bring them in to this game of life without without teaching them what it really is that it is a game and that we are playing a role and that we can always retire from this role if we wish to then they will get lost and they will accept this game of life to be the truth and they will lose their creativity they will lose their intuitivity because they will always think about the past or the future but rarely ever stop and be here right now what they have actually been born with with this ability and this lived for as long as we let them <laughs> and I believe that this is where most parents make mistakes and I'm not taking myself out of there <laughs> but I believe that this is our task as parents that we have to stay in line ourselves that we need to meet our children but that we need to accept them as our teachers and let them guide us most of you know that it is thanks to the love and support of this community that we were able to build a village for special needs children out in Tanzania. That village now provides a safe and loving home to nearly 200 children that were living in crisis. Most of these children are special needs, but a lot of these children were homeless and the majority have no parents or guardians in this world, other than the family that this community has allowed us to create Everything that we do is made possible thanks to the partners who choose to partner with our family and with it make everything that we do possible and keep our doors open for the next children who need some help or a safe and loving family home. If you'd like to hear more about our partnership program, you can do so by visiting www.sharetanzania.com partnership.